Hey, how's it going guys? It's Seb, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a mini review of the anti-aircraft trailer and whether or not it's really worth your money, because this is something I was kind of on the fence of buying for quite a while. But I'm going to let you guys know how good it is and my recommendations. So let's go ahead and check it out. So the anti-aircraft trailer is available on Warstock Cash and Carry for... 1.4 million if you have the trade price. It is a little more if you don't have the trade price, so do keep that in mind. If you do happen to have the command center in your MOC, you might want to pop this mission and save some money. This is not stored in a personal garage, but instead stored in your bunker at that specific spot. And just like all the other uh, militarized vehicles in this up, uh, the gun running update, they can be customized, but this one can only be customized with liveries, you know, resprays for the liveries and some new weapons. So if you have some liveries that you've already researched, and, you know, with gun running, with the research, you can use those on this thing just like every other vehicle. Uh, but yeah, that's about it on, like, the customization in terms of, you know, all the cosmetic stuff. Yeah, you can add primaries and secondaries, and the secondary, I think, just changes the wheel color, mostly. So you can have, you know, custom wheels with blue, green, pink, red, brown, whatever color you want. You can put it on the wheels. So, pretty cool that this thing has its own customization, so that's something, if you like the customization on these vehicles, you could definitely get this vehicle, because it has some good customization on it. But yeah, as you can see, I customized mine with kind of like a blue and, uh, tan colored you know livery and something else I want to mention that's on the screen right now you want to have the dual cannons the missiles don't lock on and you have like 10 of them and the stock cannon is not good enough so that is the one upgrade you want so after you order this thing you pretty much call it in and it's given a vapid saddler by default which is interesting because this is just a utility truck not amazing now for me though one of the big disadvantages about this vehicle is if you're a solo player, you can't use this thing while you're driving, which I've already, you know, predicted. I'm going to show you guys, you know, the power of the dual cannons here in a second, if I can even get on the thing. And I want you to s just look at how powerful these things are. So apparently, yeah, my sound glitched out on that record uh, little clip, so... Yeah, that's why there was no sound. But basically, I ended up blowing myself up, so... Here's actual footage of the power and durability of this, uh, nice little aircraft trailer. So as you could tell by that clip there, that was pretty crazy, the power of these things. The 20mm quad cannons is definitely the weapon you want to have on this thing, because if you don't have that on here, it's not going to be as strong as or as effective. The rockets are about, you need know, to get about 10 rockets in this thing, and they run out quickly, and they don't home on to other things either, they're free fire. And the stock cannons aren't really that great either. Unfortunately, it does require research to get these things, so you might want to keep that in mind if you don't have research done already. But yeah, so now we're going to talk about maybe the problems with this thing, and there's definitely a couple I have to talk about. So the price is very pricey for this thing. It is 1.4 million with the trade price and even more without it. Fortunately, it is on sale right now for 1,050,000 if you have the trade price. Uh, this is as of November 16th, and this price will be going on until November 20th. So if you're interested in it, you might want to take advantage of it now while there's a sale on it to save some extra money. But yeah, the price is definitely something that's a little problematic with this, uh, I guess you can call vehicle or entity. 
The other major problem I find with this thing, and I found this to be very disappointing after I bought this thing, and that's the fact that you can't use your personal militarized vehicles, you know, with this on the back of it. To me, that is a huge shame, because, you know, if you could put this on back of your personal, you know, militarized vehicle, that'd be great. And, you know, I thought maybe it's because it'd be a little too overpowered, maybe, to combine this with an APC, but you can do this with a friend's, you know, militarized vehicle. But the problem with that is, you know, you have to ask your friend every time, you know, your friend might not be into militarized vehicles, so I might not have any of this stuff, so, to me, pretty unfortunate, but, you know, I guess, you know, kind of trying to keep the balance a little more, which is definitely not, you know, a problem at all. Overall, though, this thing is pretty crazy with the 20mm cannons. It is pretty nice. It is very expensive, though. However, if you have some extra money lying around and you want some of this, you know, high-grade military hardware, as they call it, you might want to consider picking this thing up. It's not really that bad at all. Just keep in mind, if you're a solo player, you're going to be using the Saddler a lot. Alright, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, drop a comment with some feedback down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.